Well, it's Sunday the 7th September and it looks like a beautiful day for drilling. Okay, I'm going to say it. I have struck water. No doubt about it. There's water there and as much as I take out um, bailing out, it comes back. So we have struck water. Um, but the downside of this is when I'm drilling, it's stones coming up. And what you get left down there is a clay soup, uh, a light brown soup. And now my new problem is when I put the auger in, it gets caught in suction. Right, you can see the difference now. I've got a metal handle uh, affixed with a large bolt and this high tensile steel. Well, I'm down at three meters and I've got lovely water. Okay, it's a bit uh, like clay soup as I described earlier. But my problem now, I don't have big stones. I don't have much clay. I'm in pure gravel. And for that, the auger doesn't work. And I pick up a whole load. But by the time I pull it out, its majority has slid back. I can hear it falling back into the water as I'm coming up. So I'm wondering if this will pick up the gravel that's in the bottom and the sand, and then I can break into the next layer using the auger again and then repeat with this. Wishful thinking? Probably. Ah, hang on. Yeah. Gravel. Well, I think you can probably guess what happened next. The paint I had a particularly good load of stones in the paint pot attached to the tube. And as I was bringing it up, it fell off and it's at the bottom of the well. Well, I recovered my painting from the bottom of the well. I stir up the bottom, get the stones loose using the auger. And then I use this to pick them up and some sediment. Well, if you're wondering if my weird contraption works, it's an emphatic yes. But it's bringing up stones like this. There's no way the auger alone could do this. Have we really, really 100% struck water? Let me show you. There it is. Well water. And no matter how much I take out, it stays the same. Tomorrow I need to order a pump.